That doesn't sound good. There's an open door. Hey, we know those guys. Controlled by that chain. Hey, you, you're up, buddy. Okay, cadet, you first. I've got your back. Did you know that historically hedge mazes are designed to conceal a secret shortcut? Well, there's still one crank that works down there. Try using it to open the door. moving. Egon, Winston, can we get out of here?
Keep an eye out. Wind the chain. The door looks like it's connected to that crank. That did it. The door's wide open. Get back up here. when he zagged. Yeah, that'll work. Hmm. A picket we're not welcome. Yeah? There's a first. I'm gonna get us all name badges that say, Hello, I'm not welcome. Or maybe t-shirts or coffee mugs. Alyssa, I see her. You and me both. She's wearing just a simple terry cloth robe. And she's brought me coffee. That's her, all right. Spitting image. The resemblance is uncanny. This is Evo Shandor's mother, painted in 1885. Wait. What? Alyssa is a Shandor? Why does this always happen to me? I meet a girl, she's crazy about me, but she always turns out to be some kind of unbelievable fixer-upper. This is all making sense. Alyssa must have inadvertently triggered the mandala because she has Shandor blood. And she doesn't know it. When I did her profile, she told me she was adopted. Some coincidence, huh? You don't really believe this happened by accident. No. Someone must have known and set this up. The mayor did say that Peck personally recommended Alyssa to be the guest curator of the Gozer exhibit. Once a Peck, always a Peck. Shandor must have employed hundreds of workers for years to build this place. The supports are waterlogged, the mortar is decrepit, and the foundation is shattered. In purely physical terms, there's no way all this can still be standing. You sound like you're surprised. No, not really. It's beautiful in a horrific way. You can't deny the pure genius of Shandor. It's a pity that it was all used for evil. And you would have just channeled some of it for good. The things he could have done. Still worshiping even after they're dead? That's a foul for church, man. That might explain how these structures are still standing. Yeah. Material stability induced by sheer focus concentration of posthumous will. Unbelievable. Yeah, right. Unbelievable. What's unbelievable is that you can still use that word in context. Oh, my God. 
Time for us to go. 